Yeah, this is Johnny. 2018 fantasy football season started. What are we waiting for? Roll it! Welcome to the 2018 season of the Board People's Fantasy Football League. I am your host, Johnny Vegas. It is my absolute pleasure to join you here for another season of Mirth, Mayhem, and Moolah. <laughs> well, we've had ourselves one hell of a draft. It was a great time. I was mostly passed out in the easy chair over at uh, PJ's during most of it. But from what I remember hearing through my alcoholic stupor, it was one hell of a draft. Lots of smart moves made across the board, lots of winners, and I know what you're waiting for now. Week one. Picks! We're going to start right off the bat with a great barn burner. It's the Eden Extractors versus the Gowanda Thunder. This one's going to be a great matchup, but I'm going to give this one to the Extractors by 13 and make it my lock of the week. Why? Because the Extractors have a wonderful secret weapon that a lot of people aren't talking about. Alex Collins, running back from Baltimore. I think he's going to have a great day versus Buffalo this weekend. And also, you know, Alex Collins kind of sounds like a drink. I wonder what they would call you would put into a Johnny Vegas. I'm thinking it would be two ice cubes, three pots gin, one pot whiskey, two pots Pepto-Bismol, and shredded betting slips. Extractors by 13. <laughs> Moving on. We have the Roughnecks going up against the Vandals. This one is going to be a slobber Lots of hot hits, lots of pain, lots of destruction. But in the end, I'm going to give this one to the Vandals by five. And the reason is the Vandals have Tom Brady going up against Houston. Now, Houston is young and energetic, but Tom Brady's a show-off. So he's going to want to do all he can to upstart a young, hot team. And Tom Brady, as he gets older, becomes finer, like cheese, delicious cheddars, or roqueforts, or brie. Yeah, I go to fancy parties, what of it? Vandals by five! Up next, we have a barn burner of a matchup. We have the hangman versus the a-holes. Nothing but hatred, nothing but violence, nothing but fun. And in this one, I'm going to give this one to the A-holes by the slimmest of margins. Two points. A-holes in two. Yeah. I'm going to give this one to the A-holes in two because they have Golden Tate going up against the Jets. And when it comes to Golden Tate, I think he is nothing but money on a fantasy football roster. You put him in your fantasy football roster and you're going to score points. It's going to be a difference maker. You've got a golden ticket! You've got a golden ticket! You've got a golden ticket! And the A-holes win by two! Next on the agenda, we have the Terror versus the snake -a -puss. If you like horror movies, if you like violence, if you like blood, if you love scantily clad women running around in lingerie for absolutely no reason, this is your game, brother! And in this game, I'm going to give it to the Terror by seven because they have Michael Thomas going up against Tampa Bay. Oh, Michael Thomas. I'm rather fond of Michael Thomas. He's the guy who writes all those lurid romance novels. You know, the stuff that, you know, you pick up the book, you start reading it, and then you hear things in your head like, as Melanie leaned backwards. Thomas reached forward, grasping her roughly in his arms. She trembled like a little girl, and then collapsed to the weight of her love. Yeah, stuff like that. Terror by Seven! And finally, rounding out this week, we have Slaughterhouse versus the Senators. And this one's gonna be no holds barred, no holds taken. But bad news and poo-poo to the defending champs, I'm giving this one to the Senators by eight. Because they have Allen Robinson, wide receiver, Chicago. 
Mr. Robinson. He's going to be the one who helps them win. Boop, boop, ba -doo. Now, the thing is, though, got the Bears going up against the Packers. It's a classic rivalry. Nothing but old school fighting and slugging it out and being mean and nasty and going together all the time. It's like the Johnny Vegas family reunion. Coming later this year to this network. Senators, by eight. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Good luck to all the teams going into week one. You know who's going to win, because Johnny said so. See you next week. Whee! Now we don't got that out the way, let's have some fun. This February on Mars, the temperature's dropping, and the drama is reaching its boiling point. Kimberly's 18 years old, and today, she's going to test five men to find out who the father of her two children are. Kimberly claims there are ten possible fathers. Ten possible fathers. Yes. The incredible DNA results will be revealed today. Are any of these five men the father of Kimberly's two children? Bear, Johnny, Andrew, Ronnie, Joe, TJ. The conflict, the drama starts now. In the case of one-year-old Casey, Johnny, you are the father. I thought you put the brake on the safety of the car.